I would like to thank you all for your cooperation while I was away. So, Mrs. Williams, let's hear your report. Thank you so much, Mrs. Williams. This is good. Well done. I'm proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Mrs. Bryan. Yes, ma'am. Let's hear a report. You have done well. Thank you, ma'am. So, where is Mr. Francis? Mr. Francis, your report, please. I just can't take this anymore. I, I, I can't. What can't you take anymore? I had worked really hard to be treated this way. And I know I'm better than this. Just sit down first. Sit down. I still don't understand what you're talking about. I am the most hardworking staff in that company. Yes. And everybody knows that. Can you imagine? Mrs. Williams was sent to London to go and start up a new branch. That's lovely. Uh, I mean, terrible. Terrible. And Mrs. Brian was sent to South Africa. Guess where I was sent to? Where were you sent to? Just tell me where you were sent to. It's unfortunate. Francis! Francis! What is this? We all know that the business we do benefits both the consumers and we the suppliers. Yes, we have a lot of branches. However, there is need for expansion. So, in the light of this, I will be traveling for a couple of months and I have also assigned you three my best and my most productive staff and I trust you to do a good job with this assignment. Mrs. Williams. Yes ma. You will be going to London to start up our first branch office there. Here is a transfer letter. Thank you ma. A sum of five million naira has been approved for you on this regard. Thank you very much ma. You are most welcome. This is really Mr. Francis. <laughs> Mrs. Brian. Yes, ma'am. You will be going to South Africa to start up our first branch office there. Thank you so much, ma'am. Here's ma. a transfer letter. Thank you, ma'am. The sum of three million naira has been approved in this regard. Congratulations. Thank you. Mrs. Brian. Thank you, Mr. Francis. I received an email some months ago about um, a particular state requesting for our goods urgently. We have not reached out to that state. Mr. Francis. <laughs> yes, ma. Here is a transfer letter. We have reached out to all other states in Nigeria except one state. And that is Ondo State, Mr. Francis. So, you will be going to Ondo State to start up our first branch office there. A check of 500,000 Naira has been approved for you in this regard. Congratulations, Mr. Francis. Now, listen up the three of you. I have my reasons for selecting the three of you for this assignment. I know your capacity. That is why I am sending you to these locations. And I trust you to do a good job with that. Thank you very much. Do have a good day. Secretary. Yes, ma. Please make sure I have the minutes of the meeting before the end of today.
I'm sorry, can I have one more? Hello? And who is this? Mr. Francis, how are you doing? I haven't heard from you in a while, so I said I must call today. Um, you still haven't identified yourself. It's Mrs. Williams, your office colleague. I'm calling from London, where I was transferred. Remember? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. If you don't ask, I will tell you. Work here has been amazing. I'm really seeing God's hand in this job. Expansion upon expansion. I, I see. <laughs> I see, I in see. In fact, the other day I was speaking with Mrs. Bryan. She also testified to the grace of God in her job and how things are going on very well over there in South Africa. I see. Are you okay, sir? Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, I'm just wonderful. Exactly, brother. It's been really wonderful. In fact, the other day I was... Your phone is ringing. It's the office. You've been avoiding their calls for the past months now. I'm sure they've noticed your absence. You should pick this call. It's from Ondo. God. Why me? I mean, you, you, you promised that I'll be the head and not the tail. And that I'll be above and not beneath. Me, me, sent to Ondo State. Where those people are not even civilized at all. With 500,000 naira. What am I supposed to do with 500,000 naira? You tell me. Is this the result of all the years of my ad labor in that company? You know, darling, Undo State is not really a bad idea. You know, they have fresh food there, nice story centers. I mean, the weather is so cold. Only just stop it! Just try to understand me. Yo, my guy. Hey, <laughs> Philip. <laughs> my guy, so this is where you guys are? Mrs. Francis. Oh. My guy, I've been knocking at that your front door. Like, say, tomorrow, no day. Oh. Um, sorry, I came late today. So, are you ready for the party? Guy, guy, I'm born ready now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey. Set now. Yeah, mm. set, set. Mm. Oni, oni, ah uh ah, -uh. you know, abba, oni, wait, mm. wait. Parties are for men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, baby. I will see you later. Your phone. Oh, sorry. Oni, you know, I love you now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. thank you. Okay. I got. <laughs> That's all. Right. I don't understand this man again. Office, no. For parties, yes. <laughs> eh? Everyone is at the office. Wow. The boss is around. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you very much. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Darling, I just got off the phone with Jane. You won't believe what I just heard. Okay. Don't you want to know what it is? Ah. <laughs> Since I won't believe, what's the point? Whatever. See, the boss is returning. I think you really need to be at the headquarters. Look, on. I am done with them at that office. I mean, they are just a bunch of time wasters. I should have invested my time in something profitable. Francis. Baby, leave me alone. Francis. Look, I think it's high time you let go of whatever happened in the office. And moreover, this is the best time for you to voice out your mind. Let him know how you really feel. You've not been going to work for quite some months now. And they don't even know the reason why. If you go there and you tell them how you really feel. I think they should reason with you. Yes. Face them like a man. Face them like a man.
I would like to thank you all for your cooperation while I was away. So, Mrs. Williams, let's hear your report. Here's the detailed report of the activities, client information and the progress of the London branch. But the work done so far, I've been able to double the capital and bring more profit to the company. Thank you so much, Mrs. Williams. This is good. Well done. I'm proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Mrs. Bryan. Yes, ma'am. Let's hear a report. Here's a detailed report of the South African branch. And with the capital given to me, I was able to double it and bring in more profit to the company. Hmm, I'm really impressed. You have done well. Thank you, ma'am. So, where is Mr. Francis? Mr. Francis, your report, please. Which report? Your report from Ondo State. <laughs> you are a very wicked and greedy woman. Ha. Huh. Yes. What is her? <laughs> All you care about is more expansion and more money. I had been the most hardworking staff in this company. And how did you repay me? By sending me to a remote village with little or nothing. And then sending them to greener pastures with more money at their disposal. What is the definition of wickedness? If that is not wickedness, well, I figured out that since we already have branches here in Nigeria and overseas, having a branch in that village called Ondo will never make any difference to you. So, I kept your money intact and your appointment letter. I quit. Francis! What? Mrs. Williams. Yes, ma. Here is a promotion letter. Thank you very much, ma. You are known to oversee all our UK branches. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. Mrs. Bryan. Yes, ma. Here is your promotion letter. Thank you very much, ma. You are known to oversee all our branches in South Africa. Thanks so much, ma. You're sorry, welcome. sorry, sorry. Excuse me. What am I still doing here? You all are aware that this company's headquarters is Nigeria and all other countries report back here. And also we have the largest net worth and influence. Now, as for you wicked and lazy employee, this was meant to be your promotion letter as one of the directors overseeing the headquarters and all other branches under it. All you had to do was to be faithful in the little task that was given to you. Please, ma. Mrs. Williams. Yes, ma. This is for you. Here. Me? Thank you, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Please, ma. Please. Please, ma. I was... You that time. I, I, I didn't mean what I was saying. Please help me to beg her now. Mr. Stop. Francis. You deprived all our consumers the benefit of our products in all those states. Get out of my sight. Please help me to beg you. Mr. Out, Francis, please. get out of my office. Please, my please. Security! Please. Security! Please. Security! Please. Security! Please. Security! Please. Security! Please. Get this man out of my office now! Please, ma. Please, ma. I'm sorry. 